Hi there, Katie Sinclair here with Katie Book Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to use the tailored tag punch to create a mask so that you can leave a space for these really cute hexagonal greetings from the Accented Blooms stamp set, but use them with any stamp set, like Lemon Zest, for example. Let's get started. So the Accented Bloom stamp set comes with this really pretty floral design and also these two sentiments that fit right inside there. And what I wanted to do is, because I love this shape and I love this script, I wanted to be able to use those and still have a nice little space with my other stamp sets. And the answer to that is a mask. And I am going to make my mask out of copy paper using the tailored tag punch. And I'm choosing copy paper for this because it's really thin. The thickness of your mask is going to determine how wide your outer glow is around your mask. So for our sample today, um, we've got this one, which has this nice little border around it. But then when and using copy paper, I also did it with designer series paper and you can see side by side how that's a little bit wider and then using cardstock, it's even wider than that. So the thickness of your mask is going to determine how wide that outer glow is around your sentiment. So since we want ours for today to just be a littler one, we're going to stick with the copy paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my stamp from that Accented Blooms set. Oop, I got a dog hair on it. I gotta wash it off. That's the thing about stamping when there's pets around <laughs> is that you gotta double check sometimes to make sure that random cat or dog hair didn't end up in your stamp. So I'm gonna stamp my thank you sentiment. Since I did those hellos, I think I'm gonna do a thank you this time. Get that right on there where I want it. And now I'm going to place my mask over the top of it to protect it. So I'm going to use some repositionable, I don't know why I turned it over, it's the same on both sides, um, just some repositionable adhesive. And you don't need a lot, just a little. And I'm going to stick this right over the top of my stamp. And you can put it on and trust your gut or like me, you can double check it against a light source. So I'm going to hold it up to the light. And actually, because it is repositionable adhesive, I can move it around a little bit to get it where I want it to go. And I'm happy with it like that. So I'm going to keep it right down there. And now I'm ready to do my stamping. So I'm going to take my Fleur de Flamingo, my Grapefruit Grove, my Pineapple Punch, and that Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm going to take my adorable lemon zest slice. And what I like about this slice is that it can be any citrus fruit. That's what I like about it. I'm in Florida, we like our citrus. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp some grapefruit grove on there. And I took it right over the mask and also off the edge. So now if you look, there's ink still where it um, kind of went off. It didn't kind of cover right. So I don't wanna go back and stamp right away. If you do want a lighter color or a lighter value of the same color, you do have to stamp off first and you can see where I was doing that before and then stamp on your paper. And where I'm placing these, I'm really going kind of willy nilly. I just like to create some movement with my slices and uh, I also like to overlap. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my flirty flamingo and add that next. Again, taking it off the page, re-inking, creating some interest. Boom, that looks good. Ready for some pineapple punch. That and Grapefruit Grove are two of the ink colors that came out just this past June. And I love it because it's super bright, this yellow. Check this out. Ready? Are you ready? Boom. Oh my gosh, so bright. Bright and pretty. Uh, 
Where does another happy little lemon slice live? There. And I'm going to finish it off with that lemon lime twist to bring it back in and unify with the sentiment that I did. I'll put one up here. And I'll stick another one. Mm, where should he live? I'll put him up over here. Just going all across the bottom. And now is the fun part, the reveal. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off that repositionable mask that I made. And voila! You've got the look of a layered image without having an extra layer. So I'm going to go ahead and take my... Whisper White cardstock, which is cut to eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. And then I do have a layer of Grapefruit Grove to put underneath. I'm just gonna snail. Come on. I already put a little bit of snail in here before. I'm gonna stick that right on. And then, again with the dog hairs, my goodness. And then this fits right on top of that. So your grapefruit grove um, cardstock is going to be five and a quarter by four. And then this whisper white that we just stamped on is five by three and three quarters. And you can add any kind of embellishments you want to this if you choose. Sometimes it's nice to make just like a little simple thank you. So there you have it. Thank you for watching and all of the measurements and information can be found at katiebugcrafts.com under my blog. Thank you. So if you like the look of this card that we just made, feel free to try that technique out with some other stamp sets as well. Here I used it with the Sea of Textures stamp set and we had that cute little octopus peeking out over the sentiment in Night of Navy and Mint Macaron. And then I also tried it with an inked up embossing folder. So have fun, get creative, and have a great day. Thanks again for watching.